Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. After I posted my last video, I had a bunch of questions, so I decided to just film a Q&A, and what better way to do it but with a seafood boy. If you haven't watched my last video, be sure to check that out. I'll link it somewhere in this video, and then that'll kind of give you a feel for what type of video this is. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so... As you all can see from the title in my last video that I recently had surgery. Um, I had liposuction 360 and um, a BBL fat transfer. So, let me, let me get into this. Oh, now I'm going to draw nothing. Okay, so one of the main questions that people had were... Mm. were how much was it um the surgery was 3800 but then you know you have little incidentals um I don't think I mentioned this in my last video but my surgeon was Dr. Robert Kagan I had surgery at Jolie Plastic Surgeries surgery in Miami Florida I'm not sure if he's still located there um, some other I have no clue why my batteries keep dying. But, like I was saying, I have questions on my phone for me asking people on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people asked how much was it. A lot of people kept at, keeps asking me how's my recovery process. I'm still recovering. It's something you have to wear. If you see my last video, it's called a fall. I have to wear that for three months. Period. I just have to wear that for three months. So that's still recovering. Um, you have to get these massages. I haven't gotten a massage in two weeks. That's why my stomach is like really, really, really swollen. Excuse me. Um, um, and then a lot of people ask just was. How was the process? Okay. While I was in my very critical stages of recovery, I said I will never get surgery ever again. Ever. I was in so much pain. They don't really prescribe you narcotics. Like, they give you a few pills, but they prefer you to take Tylenol because Tylenol helps with the swelling. Um... I had surgery. How long did I stay in Miami? Um, I flew to Miami on Tuesday. Um, you have to go the day before your surgery for a post-op. So I flew in on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I had my surgery. Um, we left on Saturday. I had a client Sunday. Um, they tell you not to sit on your butt for three to six weeks. Um, they say if you do sit on your butt, sit on like a little pillow. So I've been sitting on a boppy pillow. Not the open one, the closed one. I'm sorry, I'm sick. And I sat on my butt, um, two days after surgery. Because I went out to eat with my mom, as y'all saw in the video. Um. It's so cold. Will I ever get surgery again? I'm thinking about it now. Like, I want a breast reduction. So bad. I hate my boobs. If y'all go up to my older videos, y'all will see that my boobs were small. I gained a lot of weight. Um, everybody's asking me, am I happy with my results? I love my results. The stomach is on flat, flat. What ways? I got the curves and I got a little butt. Okay? Okay. I can't do it. Cardi B voice. Um. Experience with the surgery, okay. 
I'm two weeks post-op today. I mean, two months post-op today. Uh, the hardest part for me was the first three weeks. I went back to school after two weeks. Um, I was driving after a week. But that first three weeks, everything hurt. Like, it feels like you've just been hit with, like, you've been ran over by a big truck. Like, that's really seriously what it feels like. Um, would I recommend surgery? Yes, girl, if you want it, go get it. If you got the coin, go get it, okay? Because I really feel like my life changed once I got my surgery. Like, I know people be saying stuff like that. But I've literally done um, a full 360. I've been motivated to do different things with my life. Um, I went, colored my hair purple. If y'all want a tutorial on how I get my hair in the bun, comment that down below. But I've really just been <clears throat> living my life. I have a different like mindset on how I want to go out the house looking, how I feel about myself, how I want to present myself. I'm in the process of rebranding myself. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm just trying to get myself together. So, I really feel like my surgery was a bit of a push for me. Um, when I went to have my surgery, I my mom went with me. And she was like, she took care of me in a hotel. People do go to recovery homes. Like, they have those. Like, say if you don't have anybody to go with you. So they'll pick you up from um, after your surgery uh, and they'll take care of you while you're there. In my video, y'all saw that I was bleeding a lot. I stopped bleeding the day I came home. Like That was the last day I was really bleeding. So I only bled for like three days. And a lot of people were commenting on the video like, you didn't use chucks. Or puppy pads or a shower liner. I did. And I was literally bleeding through everything. Like, I didn't have a drain. Some doctors give drains. So, literally, the holes that they put in me to take the fat out were just open. So, all of the fluid was just coming out. And since I can't sit on my butt, I'm laying on my stomach. So, that's just putting pressure on my stomach for the fluids to just seep out of the holes like that's why i was so bloody the bed was bloody everything was just bloody uh what else um my confidence level has really like skyrocketed like i'm pressed to take pictures post pictures um on my Instagram, I only really posted, like, selfies and stuff. But, no, baby, every time I get in the mirror, it's the, you know, oh, y'all got to see this body, okay? That's what it's giving. While we were there, my mom rented a car. So, it was easy for us to get around, so I didn't really have to worry about Uber expenses. Um... The lady who did my massage, she came with me. I'll um, insert her Instagram up here if you're interested in going to Miami. I think it was $80. It was either $80 or $60 per massage. And she comes to you. All you have to do is lay on her table. That's it. And her personality, her energy and everything was just good I, I didn't really feel much pain when she was massaging me like she would talk to me and distract me I wish this phone was not blocking
Um, y'all yeah, probably want to know how old I am. I'm 20. I'll be 21 in April. been asked like what made me do it um if you know me like if you went to high school with me I've literally been talking about getting this surgery since I was probably 16 or 17 like I've always said I wanted a butt like always my whole life so um I started gaining a bunch of weight and I didn't really take care of myself like I looked bad and my mom said she was sick of me looking, you know, like a slob. So she was trying to help me, like, give me that push that maybe I needed to get myself together. So she said, you're getting, um, you're getting your surgery. And that just really amps me up. Um, I was 250 in June. I got my surgery in September. And I was 224, so I lost basically 30 pounds for my surgery. And I'm still trying to lose 30 more pounds. Um, my goal weight is 190. If you go back and look at the um, other two vlogs that I post on my channel, I was around 190 then. So, I'm just trying to get back to that size or whatever. We would not recommend having a sewing. Um... I definitely would not recommend having a sewing because, I don't know, after my surgery, I had, like, stuff in my hair. I couldn't really wash it. I couldn't really comb it. It was just hard to deal with. And I didn't, oh, this is a major thing. I could not eat after my surgery. I'm just getting my appetite back. Like, I would get full so fast or I would eat one thing a day and be full for the whole day. Like, I could not eat. And because I couldn't eat, I didn't really have any energy my energy was gone. All I did was sleep all day. I didn't really move out the bed. It hurt to move. So I was just sleeping. I was weak, I guess, from losing so much blood and then not eating for real. So I was weak. Um, but I'm so glad I got an appetite back in time for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna chow down, okay? Oh, Kurt. Um, another question I have is well, I had. Is like what advice would I give to people that are about to have the surgery? If it's not what you want to do, don't do it. If you're not confident about the surgery, don't do it. I was not nervous. Like going to the airport, I wasn't nervous. Even when I went to lay on the table, I only got a little bit nervous because I don't really like needles. That's the only reason why I got nervous. But I was not nervous about the surgery. Um. I didn't tell y'all about when I woke up. So, in my last video, you see, um, I was like, I was waiting for the anesthesiologist to come. So, when he finally came, <clears throat> he walked me to the back, and I laid, like, on a table like this. And <clears throat> he told me that he was going to stick a needle in me. He was going to start giving me fluids, but it wasn't the <clears throat> anesthesia, like, to knock me out. So then he told me he was going to put pain meds in it. And in the room he told me to, that he was going to put, once he puts it in, he was going to have me count, take five deep breaths, and then I was going to be asleep. So I remember counting like three or four. And next thing I know, I, well, I woke up. It was after my surgery, excuse me, it was after my surgery. And I was crying, like crying real bad because I was cold, like I was freezing cold. I was shivering so bad and they were like what's wrong and I was like I'm cold so they had heaters literally like on me but I still 
could not warm up like I was just freezing cold so um they just after they probably I don't even know how long what's like how what the amount of time that went by but I pro I said it was probably like an hour that I laid there and then they um put my dress on me and wheeled me out like it was nothing um Um, do I have any regrets? The only regret that I do have is I wish I would have lost a little bit more weight before my surgery. Like, I was trying to get to 215 before my surgery. So then it would have gave me room to lose a little bit more weight. But I kind of wish I would have went into surgery at about 205, 200 pounds. And then, like I told y'all, I lost 8 pounds. So losing that weight, I would have been around my goal weight, you know? So, uh, that is one thing I do regret. Something I would do differently if I were to go get my surgery again. Um, I don't think it's nothing. Because I really think that I'll push through. Like, I was a soldier. I was out. I, was, I kept trying to be out. I did not want to be laid up in the ho um, hotel room, like, sad or sleeping. Like, I really wanted to be up and out. One thing, when they say wear loose-fitting clothes, I tell you, wear loose-fitting clothes. Like, I go wear pants and stuff, and your stomach is so sensitive. Like, it's that's why they tell you to wear the compression for so long, because your body is so sensitive, and it really forms to anything. When I wear pants and maybe, like, underwear with the thick band, like the um, pink underwear, you I would literally have a dent in my stomach from where the pants or the um the underwear set and it's like the only way for me to get that out is to get a massage so like your body is really sensitive to everything so wear your faha um i'm not sure if i told you guys this but i have another faha the faha that i got when uh faha that i got at the time of surgery was a two or three x and then about a week, a little over a week after my surgery, I went and got a smaller one. And I got that one in an extra large. I could have gotten a large, but my thighs are huge. So it couldn't really fit on my thighs. But it fits on my waist. I just ordered a waist trainer and it just came in today. So I'm going to start using that because I'm pretty tall. So my faha is too small going this way not really too small like this it's too i'm too tall for it so it's been like cutting my butt cheek so instead i bought a waist trainer so i can um you know still compress my stomach but give myself a little time to heal i do say this when you go have this surgery, make sure you're surrounded by positive people. People that are truly happy for you. People that want you to look good. Because you're really going to need that energy. You're going to need those people to help you. But I, literally every day you feel better. I was, I was able to live my life by myself after a week. I mean, I did move slow or I would be in pain. But I was able to, you know, get up. And do whatever by myself. Um, you do go to the bathroom in your fall. You like it's cut. It's a whole cut in the middle. So it's it's designed. It's designed for you to literally have it on twenty four seven. The one that I have now just had. Um, the one I had for my surgery, that one just had a hole for like the vagina. But my new faha actually had a hole that went from the vagina up to the butt and it had a zipper. So you can literally do what you gotta do in the faha. Um, I think I've answered just about all the questions that I received. If you have any more questions, you can comment them or you can um, message me on Instagram. My Instagram is always, always, always open. And I'm pretty good with responding. So... 
you have any questions that I that you don't think I answered, you can definitely hit me up on Instagram, hit me up in the messages on YouTube or in the comment section. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed to Suzy K. It's a lot more coming. Like I told y'all, I'm in the mood to rebrand myself. So it's a lot more coming. Make sure you stay tuned. Bye.